Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Whenever you are definitely viewing this video. Okay, we're going to be talking about none other than Dr. Dre. I don't know. I don't know if you've found out in the news. Whether it's on TV, whether it's on your social media platforms, but I'm sure you have heard. The drama and the dilemma that Dr. Dre has found himself in. Now you see this woman right here. Thank you with the good hair. Alright. He wined and dined her and put her in position where she just laid down in the lack or the lap of luxury. Okay. And they say he's still fooling with her. Okay. Even though they supposed to be divorcing. She asking for all this money that he don't want to give her. But evidently she must got something on him. That he's not doing what he did to her that he did to Miss Shelley. You know what I'm talking about? What that song she sang? What that song she sang, Shasta? That uh, he had beat her up on her. Michelle A, that song she made for Dr. Dre. Oh, um, Something in my heart. Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't like that song no more after I found out what made, what was behind the making of that song. Something in my heart. Talking about Dr. Dre and he just going around her, slinging her from left to right to the moon, back down to the earth and everywhere. And leaving bruises at that. But that's another story for another video. Yeah, I'm, I was surprised when I saw that video, that biography they did on him and how he treated her. And then she got treated. I just thought she just got played a lot. You know what I'm saying? And she was dealing with them men that was outweighing her by a lot of pounds. You know what I'm saying? Big people, big men, big bulky men like Suge Knight. He was a linebacker. For some NFL, then you see how Dr. Dre's status was, his built was. Man, she was so tiny, so small. Oh, child. But anyway, we ain't talking about her. We talking about these two. <coughs> now, you see, she's Becky with the good hair. She's not in the African-American um, race or culture. She looked like she may be, I don't know, Parisian, per Perusian, uh, I, maybe a little tag child i don't know where he don't got this woman from but hey when you keep them you put them in the limelight and they are afforded so many luxuries what you think gonna happen when they don't want your behind no more dr dre you should have known better no better you remember that song california love now i think i'm gonna rap a little bit for y'all too if y'all can just hold it out for me okay y'all know i'm 53 so Sometimes we be making up lyrics or whatnot, just trying to keep with the beat and the tone of all uh, that situation. But man, they were saying, don't know how true it is, but big platforms have it. YouTube from the BNC network, they had it. Bloggers got it. So it must be some truth to it. Like they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. There's fire out there. So my opinion on it, but I'm just taking that guess. All right allegedly but they said his soon to be ex-wife said honey dr dre you can run but you can't hide and i ain't scared of you you taught me how to be a boss lady and she said if i'm gonna be sitting here and he whining down to me i'm used to this kind of stuff he must be crazy thinking he ain't gonna give me the same money and the same opportunity to live in a lap of luxury that I am accustomed to. And that's what she was saying. So evidently she couldn't get him anywhere else because he was high. Woo, he was hiding like mice. Roaches, whatever. They only come out in the dark. You know what I'm saying? Because she couldn't get him. So somebody on his team had to snitch out on him and say, honey, if you, this is your chance to get him. And he can't run, he can't hide, and he, his bodyguards can't even uh, help him in this situation. Because, you know, at funerals, everything's supposed to be calm, peaceful, and all that. But see, that woman about her money, she about her coin. She don't care about uh, his family. She got into it. She dealt with him for what it was, got a baby and all that stuff. So she's solidified. She's like, I want my money for you go try to hide it on, out, of the, out of town, out of the country, and them Cayman Islands places, and, and 
You can't be reporting or finding. It's going to take you a lot. So, yeah, we're just going to serve you at your grandmother's funeral because we know you already, you know, upset. You ain't thinking straight because from what I'm told, uh, his grandmama really raised him. So, big mama, you know, she's probably church going and church believing and Bible toting with a big old pocketbook going everywhere with a child. You don't want to mess with her. So, I'm like, Trey, if you basically were happy, giggling, kiki and, and loving the lady and putting her in all that luxury, having children with her, then what do you expect? Pay the piper, man. Pay the piper. The woman's coming. And she, yes, she's a part of your hate group now. And you need haters to motivate you. You just got to keep working a little bit longer. But you're supposed to be a billionaire. After you made them Dr. Dre, Dre Beats headphones, you had slid yourself into the billionaire corner. So, I mean, what part you thought? Because she was African American that she would not secure the bag? Huh? Child, I think you got played. I know, Whitney. Poor Dr. Dre. Going around him making all this wonderful music and, and people, you know, uh, clinging to him. You remember that ring ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong, keep the heads ringing, ring ding dong, ring a ding 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 dong, keep the head ringing. And then when they were with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg, they had that California love. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. California knows how to party. California knows how to party in the city, city belly. In the city, okay. Now, let me welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A state that's untouchable or alien nest. The tracks hit your eardrum like a slug in your chest. Pack a vest for your gemming in the city of sex. We in the sunshine city where the bomb as hemp be. The state where you never find a dance floor empty. And pimps be on mission for them greens. Leaning and meaning making money machines. Serving things. I've been in the game for the 10 year making raps tunes. Ever since hunters were wearing sassos, now it's 95 and they clock me and watch me. Diamonds shining, looking like a rock, really, really uh, Liberace. It's all good from Diego to the Bay. Your city is the bomb if your city making pay. Throw up a finger if you feel the same way. Dre putting it down for a California I A. Hey, uh, 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 no spotty. Hey, California. No, honey. But let me get on uh, Tupac. Out of bail. Out of, wait a minute. I don't bail. Fresh out of jail. California dreaming. Soon I still step on the scene. I'm here. Who's just screaming? Fending for money and alcohol. The life of a West Side player where crowd, cowards die and a strong ball. Only in Cali where we riot, not rather, to live and die. In LA where we're wearing chucks and ballots. Yeah, that's right. Dress in locks and khaki suits and riding what we do. Flossing but having caution. We collide with other crews famous because we program. Worldwide let it recognize from Long Beach to Roscans. Bumping and grinding like a slow jam. It's West Side so you know we bow down to no man. So what you say but give me those bomb beats to Dre. And let me serenade the streets of LA. Okay. And I think that's all I got, y'all. I can't rap no more because I'm kind of tired. But anyway, he said, show me love. Hey. No thought about it. California. No thought about it. In the city. City of LA. In the city. City of LA. Keep me rocking. Keep me rocking. Okay, but anyway, we're going to go on back now because that's my spiel. I gave y'all a little hit beat. I know y'all laughing at me and stuff. I was trying to rap, but you know, I'm 53 years old, honey. We have to make it do what it do. But anyway, if y'all was sitting there, ring, ding, dong, ring, a ding, 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 dong, honey. That's Tupac and Dr. Dre when they were little, from what I was told. 
But anyway, you know they made some bomb beats, okay? So I'm like, keep that same energy with California IA and those head ringers, Dr. Dre, when you're dealing with this lady, okay? I ain't heard nothing about you been doing some, uh, you know, putting a pause on or anything like that. And if you were, she going to get you for that too, okay? Because she probably got a good-ass lawyer and he coming for everything, okay? That's what I'm saying. You do it. Ain't none of my business, but you did it to yourself. You did it to yourself. You went out when it found you somebody that's not in your race, that you don't pamper. She's gorgeous. She got a nice figure. And you you bought her Fendi Gucci, Louie, and probably everything else. All right. Even some stuff we probably can't even pronounce. You did it. You did it to yourself. So guess what? The Piper done came back to pay. And yes, it was wrong for her to pick that particular day on something that's very solemn and very you were using your bereavement stage but guess what you could she combined she combined she had to do next best thing see what you do in the daytime and that was a perfect opportunity with your grandmama being laid to rest for her to do what she had to do man that was a cold calculated move but she got it done you got them papers in your hand so it can't be uh we could never serve you because we couldn't find you or you were just making yourself like magic poof you gone you know what i'm saying so she got it i'm pretty sure from somebody in your camp where you're gonna be what time is gonna be and where everything was gonna be happening at far as the grave side because couldn't probably get it in church because they did a good thing not delivering it in church but then again cold oh it is out there so uh they probably didn't have a choice but to have a grave side for for a funeral or memorial but yes dr Dre, you gotta pay Yes, Dr. Drake, you got to pay. God, to pay that woman her money. You worth it. Ain't no sense you sitting up there on all them millions, billions. What they say you billions? You're in the billion, billions category now. So shed some of the paper and do the right thing. Do the right thing because you loved that one time. And love don't live here anymore. That's what the wife said, honey. So she went under new management. I'm in love with new management. That's what she said to you, Dr. Dre. So I think if you ain't going to capitalize on what she doing to you, then you need to put her in a reality show and let her just, I don't know. And I, maybe y'all just need to go on a reality show and just hash things out. And then you could give all the proceeds to her. I'm just saying, that was an idea that could be spun where you really don't have to give up your hard-earned money to her. But you can have a show dedicated, reality ratchet TV show, with you and her clowning and carrying on. Because you know people going to watch. They're going to watch because you're a headliner. They're going to come and see what you're doing, you know, uh, on reality show. We know some of the script. But then, you know, you might break character and give us some of your real uh, antics. Okay, so... That's an idea that you could propose to the judge or the networks to get y'all a show. Give it about uh, maybe four seasons, four season run with maybe 12 episodes. And she can make her money that way. And all the proceeds just go to her. Okay. But if you ain't going to act right, you ain't going to do it right. Okay. You want to start, you know, messing around like you did on Miss Shelley and, uh, and probably other countless other women that don't want to come forward because they're scared of you. You might send the goons after them too. Um, Yeah. So, you take your chance. But now, y'all heard my spiel. I serenaded you. And you see what the video is all about. Okay? All about. So, we're going to go into YouTube, the BNC Network, where they're going to give us a little spiel. You got two commentators that's going to be giving you their take on it. Their opinions, you know what I'm saying? Because it's all it is. Opinions, not necessarily facts, because we don't know unless we were there when the situation was happening. Then we could say, nah, I was there, I saw it, and this is what happened. And then, of course, Dr. Dre may confirm or deny, or his wife, soon to be ex-wife, might confirm or deny. But like I said, it's, a, it's their side, it's his side, her side, and then the truth lands in the middle, and only the great creator know what really happened, how it actually transpired, without anybody embellishing or adding on stuff that never really took place. Okay, and then I want y'all to listen to one of the male commentators, because it's a male and a female, but... I just did a video on Cynthia talking about she wants to protect her husband, Mike Hill. Oop, I gave it away. The other commentary I want y'all to listen to is Mike Hill. And it comes from YouTube. And if y'all just uh, 
want to see how he's made up he made up like he looked like a woman and i'm like is he is he by is he what, what's going on with that face he had too much makeup on and made me give a tease that could he be on a low low allegedly could he be on a down low could is he trying to dress in drag i mean he had the suit and thing going on but the pencil eyeliner was just a little bit too much for me so go and google it if y'all want to see it because i couldn't find a um picture of it and i only can play the audio just a little bit because i don't want to get you know censored or anything like that but um go on youtube b and c and check out uh the title was dr dre served with divorce papers at grandmother's funeral and see what pull up and if the video sh you know comes up you'll see exactly what i'm talking about because i couldn't take my eyes off of his eyes because i was like what in the world now i saw prince like that but prince was androgynous he left it well to me he wasn't gay or anything like that but he just played in every different world you remember that song he had played i'm not your love i'm not your friend i am something that you never understand i never bitch i never lie you know if you do something that been by and by because you i'm not a hell my not a hurt yeah you know i won't say let's go listen to the lyrics i can't even think about the lyrics right now uh but it said something i'm not uh something I can't remember the lyrics maybe i'll do it on another video and remind y'all that um the lyrics that was saying something about he's not a woman he's not a man or something like that he would be something you'll never understand you know that's what i think it is it's something in that part range that part range but anyway let's go on into this video audio and let y'all hear free sales did you hear the one about the estranged wife who was served divorce papers who served Papers yeah, she couldn't get it right. Rapper husband at the grave site of his grandma. Did you hear about that? Yes, okay. So, so wrong. Uh, well, well, okay. Her name is Sharon Reed. She says, no, it was in a parking lot. He says, no, it was at the gravesite. Um, you, you're already willing to pounce, spring into action. So I'll give you the floor. Wrong. It was so wrong. I mean, look. You, you, That's look, Mike Hill, Cynthia Bailey's hood. You got to try. But look, at, at the man's grandmother's funeral, whether he was by the graveside right next to the casket or in the parking lot on that particular day, you had to pick that day to serve him divorce papers when you know what this man is plenty of other times you've already gotten three hundred thousand dollars a month in spousal support and perpetuity uh you're trying to ask for more which look you know if you can get it get it that's you know you've been married to the man for 26 years but on that day i don't know how close he is to his grandmother but i know how close i am to my grandmother i was to my grandmother and Look, I was even actually going through something with my ex-wife at that particular time. And if she would have served me with divorce papers, I, I don't know if I would have been able to ever forgive that woman for something like that. Well, that you wouldn't get into heaven me. either, Mike. You wouldn't get into heaven. And it sounds like it was um, not the right thing to do. Uh, but I want to unpack a little further. I believe Dre's grandmother may have helped raise him. Um, so many people have had that. So he loved her. Loves her dearly. Mm -hmm. um, it was about legal fees. He had already paid, I don't know, $300,000, and I may not have the number right. The judge said, no, you got to pay $1.5 million. Dre said, nah, it's an error. Okay, the judge told you what to pay. If she could find him, she probably would not have served him graveside. But I guess my final point is, WWDD, what would Dre do? Okay, you want to let that marinate over the break? <laughs> okay, y'all, and that was it. It came from BNC Truth um so i don't know what well, it's bnc news uh so go check it out google it and and you'll find it but i was like 
And then y'all saw how she kept stumbling over stuff. But then y'all get on us YouTubers. And she didn't have her facts together. But y'all get on us about having our facts together. And this is on YouTube. Okay. Uh, a BNC news station. Where they supposed to have their commentary. They supposed to have their eyes dotted and T's crossed. Before they give it to the masses. And what we do. Or I should say me. Because I'm so entity over here. I get what was taken to me. I give my opinion. Just like I'm sitting at your table. We are sitting on the couch. And we just having meaningless conversation. Just conversation. That's what we get over here at Dale Chanel's for this world. Just a, a little bit of conversation. A good, a little bit of my opinion. And I ask y'all what y'all thought about it. But I think it's just piss poor. Um, problematic stuff that Dr. Dre is putting himself into. Just go and get that lady her money. Go on and get it because you know you got it. The Chronic album did well. Those beats by Dre headphones doing well. Uh, you're a lucrative businessman out there. I don't know if you're still doing illegal stuff. Uh, hanging with your folks back when they were holding you down in your early heyday. Or you don't went really, really legitly. And you got your own stuff going on. But like I said, Forbes named you um, a billionaire. So you got the money. You got the money, honey. So pay that lady her due. Pay her her money. Because like I said, you chose her. She didn't choose you. And even if she was acting like a little groupie around now, you fell for the okie doke. You fell for it, Dr. Dre. So go on. Handle your business amicably. And continue to sell on, sell on. Whether you be by yourself or you just, you know, have a little chick on the side. Because you don't got salty about marriage and, and all that it derives. But marriage is a good institution when you both play fair. Okay. It's supposed to be death of you part normally. You know, natural death of that nature. Not that you're trying to expeditiously get her out the way. Uh, to avoid certain things. Okay, paying certain things. But you you got a smart lady. <laughs> she on your behind like it ain't nobody business. She is playing the game how it is supposed to be played. She is dotting her eyes, crossing her T's. And she got her attorney that's like a bulldog. He ain't letting nothing go. He ain't leaving not no stone unturned. Okay, overturned or whatever. He coming for everything you got pretty much. So my thing is, go on and sell with that lady. So I really start finding your true assets that you don't got hid somewhere. All right, and then it's gonna really be something. You gotta leave it to somebody. So you might go on and give it to your kids and have something for your burial. Cause everybody gonna meet that one day. And thought just being so terrible. But I'm putting it now later in my mouth, y'all. I think about my next video. So, y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. I mean, that was a calculated smart move. That's a boss lady. He don't need to talk her how to be a boss if she was a boss to begin with. But that was a good move right now. <laughs> Hands down, that was a good move. Okay. He won't come up in the daytime, so she had to say, okay. You only coming out at night and you hiding in the daytime. Well, I'm play your game. I'm play your game. Probably had a private detective on Dr. Dre and all that kind of stuff. Watching his every move. And then, like I said, it's always a snitch. If I said you're going to do something, make sure that it ain't publicized. And you by yourself when you're doing it. Because when you let anybody know stuff, that's when the effing come in. That's when the stuff get effed up. And then you got to go do damage control. But, that's all I got on this little dilemma Dr. Dre don't found himself into. Yes, kind of look like a man right there, and that pisses it off. But anyway, maybe what it is, he got stuck with him. So he got, he wanted to lay, he got to pay. But if y'all like my video, please share my stuff. Share my stuff on out there so people can know about me. And come on over to the family of the house so we can sit and partake and talk about folks in our own little ways because it's just our opinion. Ain't none of this stuff true that I know of because I ain't researched it. I ain't trying to research it. It's just like I told y'all, I'm in the grocery store, I'm waiting to be rung up, and I just happen to pick up a magazine that seems to be reputable, okay? And I get my stories from there, I get it from different outlets, uh, blogging outlets that are reputable, okay? Like TMZ, like YouTube, like the Jasmine brand, uh, Love B. Scott, the ATLM.
Yes. They have to do their research. They have to put out truth to a certain degree. And y'all call it clip and all this stuff. Y'all say we lying on thought. No, we're not. No, we're not. It's out there. You heard it. You just didn't hear our version. But we stay closely to what was being said out there. We're just giving our opinions that y'all haven't had a chance to divulge. Okay? Or, or take a part of. But, uh, yeah. That's all I got. If you like and love this video, don't do nothing but spread my videos out. Spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. Share, 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 share. And like my videos, guys. Okay? That really will help me out. And I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.